the latest android 13 beta 3.3 is out so let's see how to install it we need these files and all the links will be in the description and also your bootloader should be unlocked before proceeding so first we will open the triple checker app and the first two should be supported for your device in order to install this update and the next thing is the gsi package the latest android 13 and this is a gsi rom so we need the latest package and finally the dsu siloed application so the first time you open it up we need to set up a root folder so go to your root of your storage and create a new folder and make sure you name it simply with no spaces or any special characters then in the preferences we can set the size for the partition that we want to give to the android 13 so i'm going to set it to 10 gb and then restart the application for the changes to apply now we can tap to select the gsi image that we downloaded earlier i already have downloaded it you can uh, using the link you can download it thus keep the screen on and then install it the process will take a while and after that you will see this screen and it's just asking us to run this command in the adv shell so i'm going to use an application called the ladv so copy the commands and keep it in a text file somewhere so i'm going to run this command using wireless adb using the ladb application which is a paid application but you can also run it using your computer just uh, you can see the full instruction in the description below so now we will open the ladb application and we need to set it up so open in sp split screen otherwise uh, the codes might get disappeared so we need to open it up in split screen and then open developer option which you can enable by tapping seven times on the build number then we will find the option wireless debugging and turn it on and here we will pair with a code and we need to enter this code into the code area the pairing code area so we cannot copy it so we need to manually type it and now we need to enter the port so after your ip address the last digits after the semicolon is going to be your port address so type that and then just hit ok and it should connect now the wireless adb is connected so we can run the commands that we have copied so go back to the screen and just copy the commands the second one we do not need the adb that's the sh the first one is for the pc you can use that and then we will run this command here and after you press ok you will see this notification and the installation will begin and after a while you will see option to restart or discard so now we can restart and boot into the android 13 you can see the bootloader warning i'm using the motorola g5g or 15g s and we have the google logo it might restart again so do not worry so now we are in the setting page and we will do the general setup and we have option to choose between dark and light mode and we are finally in the android 13 beta 3.3 so this is a gsi rom so you can restart back to your stock rom and then restart back to your gsi rom stock rom or custom rom whatever it must have your bootloader unlock and you can see the new easter egg you can long press on it to change the different uh, these all are emojis so that was the new easter egg and that was also how you can install the gsi rom for the latest android 13 3.3 and the stable should be out soon and i will make a video about that as well so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one